In today's video we are going to replace the water filter on uh, the water system in this house. A little bit of tight quarters here but I'm going to do my best to try to show you how to replace the filter inside this unit. The first thing you want to do is disable the pressure on your water system which in this case this house is on a well and you can see I have this breaker turned off. So this turns off the pump down in the well. If I don't do that, I'm going to take off that filter and water is going to be going everywhere because the pump will start pumping water into the reservoir tank up here. So turn that off and once you've done that, turn on your tap and let the water drain from your tap and then you'll know when there's no more water coming out, there's no more pressure on the system. This house is on a well that has a lot of minerals in the water. So I'm just going to clean up some of the crap around here. Maybe make this canister a little easier to remove. And be careful of your eyes with that crap going around there. Actually, safety glasses. Put safety glasses on if you do this. So, it's a good idea to try to keep as much water going into a bucket or whatever, not over your floor, and certainly not under anything electrical. I've got anything electrical disabled that's below this, and I got some rags there and this bucket. So, you're going to need your wrench, which see I need one of these and it slips on the grooves line up with the grooves on the body of the filter system there now if you were looking at this from down below you're going to want to turn it like anything else clockwise to remove it so, see if I can not bump my camera or anything here. And try to hold this. This is only on a fairly weak bracket. So I'm going to try to hold the body here. Actually, I'm going to try to hold it up here. Just see if I can start to loosen this off. <clears throat> hold on a second. Now I'm getting confused. Looking at it from from the bottom, it's going to be yes, counterclockwise. Oh, that's tight. There we go. So you can see why we want the bucket. And if you can see that filter, you probably can tell that that's something I should have changed a long time ago. So just as soon as you release the pressure on it, let it drip out like that a bit. Once that pressure gets relieved there, we'll turn the body of that filtration unit off and take the filter out that's inside. I'm going to let the camera roll just so if you're doing this, you can have an idea how long it takes for the pressure to release there. As I mentioned earlier, turn on the top. Ah a tap on once you've dis disabled. We disable the, the power to the pump and opened up a tap 
at one of the sinks, so there's no pressure. Now, let's take this off of here. I'm gonna apologize for the, if I'm blocking the view here. So I'm kind of ho holding that bucket. I don't want to put too much strain on those pipes that I have the bucket tie wrap to. And there we go. We'll take that out of there. I'll show you what we got. So here's our old filter. As I mentioned, I should have changed this a long time ago. That's actually breaking down parts of that filter are coming out into the system. Uh, let's hit that side there. And if I pour this out, there's a lot of crud in there. So I'm just gonna clean that out with some soap and water. Um, I don't do product placement. This is just the ones that I happen to be using. These aren't expensive, uh, rain fresh, two in the pack. I paid $9.99 Canadian in July of 2019 for these. So I'm just gonna clean this out and then we'll put the new filter in. Once you've cleaned up your canister, surprisingly enough, that's actually clean. Take your filter, put it in, move it around a little bit. You'll, you'll feel it seat in there. And then we'll go put it back on the unit. I put my bucket on here. To catch any drips. Get that out of there. And now. Now take your unit, put that up there. You should feel a kind of seat into the top. And start tightening her up. I'm gonna use my wrench in a second. But like I said, you can see this is only hanging from a relatively weak bracket, so we don't want to get overzealous with our tightening here. Now we're going to turn the, turn the, pre the uh, power to the pump back on. I'm going to watch this very carefully. See if we see any leaks. I'm gonna go with that for now. Well, maybe a little more extra. Let's just see. Like I say, don't want to get carried away. Oh, I think that's good. All right. Now, turn on the power to our pump. I don't know if you can see my hand over there or not. So at this point, pumping our well will activate and start filling. Oh, actually, you know what? I forgot, I got kind of a complicated water system. We're gonna come back to this because I have a holding tank over here. And first, the pump in the well has to pump water into that. And then, what we're gonna do is turn on the pump to our jet pump here, which pumps water out of it. So we're not gonna see this fill up until after I enable that. So here's my holding tank I was talking about. 200 gallon holding tank up here if you can see that black needle that's starting to rise up that's this tank is now starting to fill with water being pumped 
by the pump that's 260 feet down in the well for this house. And once this tank starts to fill up more, we will turn on the jet pump and put the water through that filter. I also have a video, I'll put a link to, uh, to it at the bottom of this video about this water storage system I have here. So the pump, uh, <clears throat> I was talking about the pumps water out of that big holding tank. has kicked in. We see our filter filling up. So I actually had a leak here after that last shot we took once the pressure came on the system and I could see a bit of water coming out around that lip. So all I did was unthread it, took the base unit, I didn't even take it fully off and I just carefully threaded it back on again. Maybe it just didn't seat. <clears throat> There's a little gasket in there. Maybe it didn't seat properly. Anyway, now the system has got the water pressure applied to it again. There's no leak. I've dried it all up with paper towel just to make sure that if there is some kind of a leak I could see it. But uh, there isn't. And the pressure is back on the water system. I don't know if you can see that on the pump there. So anyway, Fairly simple procedure. Thanks for watching.